Beatrice, Field Marketing Manager at Barracuda MSP. And today I'm joined by Ken Bali and Matt Caffrey, they're our Solution Engineer at, at Barracuda MSP. Let me just uh, move on to the next slide. Matt, can you confirm you can hear me okay? Yes, I can. Thanks, Beatrice. Would you like to introduce yourself? Uh, I'm just going. Yeah, so uh, I'm Matt Caffrey, yeah. based here in uh, in Australia. Uh, we uh, deliver the entire Barracuda MSP suite uh, to the Australian MSP market, and uh, I assist with uh, the setup and provisioning of those services, no matter if it's uh, email security or uh, managed workplace. Uh, we also have an array of other products uh, that include BBS, which is a, a backup uh, appliance, and also uh, managed firewalls. Great. Awesome. We'll proceed. Thank you, Matt. Yep, my slide is working now. Um, so yeah, um, so we've got Ken, he'll be doing the presentation today, and um, he will show you a way to perform a real-time security assessment and how to consolidate data into easy-to-read reports by using our site security assessment tool. Um, just before we started, here a few housekeeping. If you have any questions during the webinar, please use the chat panel on your right hand side and Matt will answer them at the end of the presentation. And we're doing a small prize giveaway today. So what I'll do is after our q and I'll ask a question and the first person to type in the correct answer in the panel will get a gift set. So it has a travel mug set, a travel adapter, a pair of flip flops. So get you guys ready for summer in a few months ahead. And I'll also chuck in a mystery item. And um, so I'll pass it to Ken now to start the presentation. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone, for joining, taking time out of your busy days. My name is Ken Bartlett, and I'm the Sales Engineering Manager for the RMM product. That's our remote monitoring and management solution that we have here at Barracuda MSP. This is a highly capable tool which allows you to deliver remote services, monitor your networks with a security-centric vision on the product. We offer an integrated network assessment component giving you visibility to the security and, and the posture of your client's networks. Now, the focus of this presentation today is certainly on security, um, but as you all know, cyber attacks are still on the rise. We're seeing increased reports of ransomware throughout um, North America, whether we're talking Canadian, overseas, throughout the United States. Um, we're being targeted, whether you're looking after uh, federal or municipal uh, government branches, emergency services, medical, um, even small and medium businesses. So that's why this is such a relevant topic uh, for our discussions. We're seeing it through multiple partners, whether they're large or small. It's, it's something that everyone is contending with. Um, the, the biggest component is the multiple threat vectors that we're seeing. So obviously a lot of ransomware comes in through email. That's, that's our strong suit is Barracuda. This is where we, our bread and butter was founded with email security, anti-spam. We've built that out with products like our Sentinel product, which look for intelligent scanning and use technologies like AI to identify behavior from end users and determine if the, um, if the email is legitimate. Web applications, drive-by downloads, remote access, web browsing, uh, network perimeter, and of course the users, the biggest variable of, of them all. So this is why the ransomware and the threat, the vectors become such a dynamic shifting scope. This makes it very difficult um, to secure your networks in a conventional sense. Um, we bring a, a, a type of um, a type of experienced business uh, solution. To, the, to our partners to be able to get a better understanding and to protect those other variables um, within their customers' networks. A couple uh, of experiences about the attacks that we've seen through the studies that we've uh, conducted. Uh, this one quotes a small business trend article, so 43% uh, targeting small businesses. You don't hear about the small businesses that are targeted uh, with ran ransomware. You might hear about um, small government branches or small municipalities or small state organizations, but the majority of them is, is not something that, that is brought to the attention in the large media. Obviously, they focus on the larger ones, the Atlanta, the Baltimore attacks that have happened recently. 60% of the companies are actually, uh, you know, struggling or even out of business within six months of a of a ransomware, a, a crippling ransomware attack. So, um, you know, that's a devastating fact uh, and really becomes a very, uh, a, a very sticky statistic when you're talking about your customers' networks and protecting them. 
And then most small businesses are, are concerned about the security of their data. So their customer's information, payment information, uh, personal information, anything that has a unique personal data. And you can see on the right, uh, we're seeing a, a slew of just web-based phishing social engineering, which is very tricky. Uh, general malware, SQL injections, and all kinds of different, uh, in a declining manner, the, di the different types of attacks that we're seeing. So that, that article is linked there for more information. Again, just a, an ever-evolving landscape of attacks that we're seeing. We've got some poll questions here. So, um, so the, the leader was about 87%. Ensuring users won't click on an unknown link. So absolutely, this is something we see a lot of users are the variable and, and the rogue variable almost in a lot of your customers' networks. Um, you know, we, we work with products as, as you might may or may not be aware with. We have a product called Fishline, which allows for end user coaching and reporting. Simulated phishing experiences is, is something that we provide, ultimately training those users. They're um, safeguards, antivirus, you know, network security, all of those things are dependent upon the user's behavior. So um, there are ways to coach that, but it involves training and simulations, et cetera. Number two in a close second is uh, enforcing a password policy. So whether we're talking about domain password policies or um, SaaS-based web application po password policies, requiring users to, uh, and keeping visibility from an administrative standpoint on that certainly is a challenge. Um, in third place, just with about 52%, uh, we're also seeing keeping patches, so updating your client devices, updating those endpoints with those critical and security updates. So, um, and then the other two were, were necessarily right there behind it was the network is secured, so keeping those networks secured, preventing foreign and strange devices, and then ensuring antivirus in the last place with, with 43. So uh, a broad range there, but certainly some common uh, common challenges that we see our partners uh, fighting with. As you can see, some of the some of the questions here, some of the challenges that we're seeing from our our, our customers, um, will users click on phishing emails? So whether the legitimate uh, test phishing emails or uh, email is very tricky. It becomes a where the name you're looking at, especially on a mobile device, is not necessarily the name. There's also components like a t account takeover and inbox threats. There's a lot of components in the email realm that that cause uh, not just users, but uh, that can cause interruptions in business and provide downtime to the entire network. Is the network secure? As, as saw in the poll, um, this is something where it becomes difficult to secure every component on the network, whether you're talking about IoT devices or um, outdated firewalls and other gateway appliances. Um, password generation, is, is the password strong enough? Is there policies? Can you enforce these? Are patches updated? Is antivirus applied? What if you had the tool or knowledge of a tool to periodically assess and review your customer's security posture um, or recommended some steps to secure vulnerabilities in the network? Um, this ties in, you can see where I'm going here, this ties into a remote monitor, monitoring and management tool. This is Managed Workplace. Um, Managed Workplace is a product that is under Barracuda's um, security stack. This is a RMM tool, as I man mentioned previously in the introduction. It can be used for all types of uh, uh, managed services, managed sites. And uh, it, it analyzes various aspects of security. So whether you're looking at patching posture, um, whether devices are connecting to weak networks, as mentioned in the poll, uh, whether antivirus is installed on those devices, you know, th those components are included in the security assessment of managed workplace. Additionally, we go on to look at things like uh, blank local admin passwords, uh, complexity, historical age requirements on passwords. We look at whether or not UAC is enabled and components like that, along with whether or not patching and critical security updates are outstanding. So there's a lot of relevant um, capabilities there that, are, that this product possesses to, um, to address those security needs. Again, looking at password management, this identifies whether they're, um, even in a work group in a small business, if you're looking for just local users with blank local admins, we can identify that through the security assessment. The status of AV, we, we port into um, the security center of Windows OSs and reveal to you if there's no AV detected by the OS or if scans aren't happening. So you do get that visibility. The patch management, we can do third-party patch management or Windows patch management, not just critical and security, but also update roll-ups and service packs and all kinds of uh, updates. Very similar to a native WSUS setup, 
without all the, cl the, the fuss of having to download and install all the patches for OSs that don't even apply. And then the network status, giving you visibility on those devices that are connecting to networks, whether or not they're using uh, complex passwords on those networks, or if they have upper and lowercase, et cetera. So you get that full visibility. A little bit of a preview here, what that site security assessment looks like. Um, this is just in our demo environment here. You can see uh, there's four different categories, but this looks at patch and user security and shows um, some of the checks that are being run for software updates or local accounts. And you can also get prompted with, uh, with remediation steps and impacts and countermeasures, et cetera. So it's as simple as enroll in a site, and then you get this information within a few hours, depending on your typical site size. Um, and then you get several reports and dashboards providing visibility on how those elements um, piece together for the security posture of that site. Sites, uh, not everyone's requirements are the same when it comes to security. Um, you might be using a, a closed or an air-gapped network where um, you know, UAC or AV has to be disabled and then manually updated through a sneaker net style approach. That's you know, fine, everyone has their own requirements. Um, but that's why we allow you to customize what we call schemas. And that allows you to change the variables. So maybe the password policy is 60 days instead of 90 days. Um, we allow you to customize those thresholds so that you can adapt the scoring and make them more relevant to your customers. Um, so whether you're talking about AD status, patch, user network, et cetera, you get the ability to change that, but also change things like the color and, score and score sorting options, um, and then view the daily, monthly, and weekly averages and trending analysis there. A little bit of the score elements at a glance. Um, we have obviously the large percentage, which is the category score. This is a weighted average across all of the verification checks. And then we have a deviation score, which shows the up or down or change um, in, the historic, in the historical average for that category. And then we have the impact to the overall score, which is brought on by the details, showing an outcome of individual tasks, which hold the greatest influence, and then some recommended actions. This allows you to demonstrate progress. Just a moment here while I reload this. Okay, this allows you to demonstrate progress. So you have that ability to go through and um, provide a site security assessment score initially. If you're fishing for new business or looking to displace another managed service provider, you can easily deploy our on-site manager, which is a network probe, which goes in and scans the network. Uh, but beyond that, you have the ability to go through and provide this information with minimal effort on your part. Uh, you can run several reports. There are a total of about six of them, which allow for varying degree of details, um, starting with simplistic sort of charts, as you can see here, showing the breakdown of issues and the score for each component. Um, but you can also demonstrate progress by rerunning that um, once you've enabled things like patch management or third-party patching, the system updates through patching, et cetera, um, dialed in user account control, for example. All of those have an impact on the weighted average. The site security reporting, this is some examples of the reports here. Uh, this shows a nice overview showing the individual category score for AV patch and user. Again, AV looks at the health of AV on the system on the endpoints. Patching looks at critical and security updates and system uh, components. User security looks at the component where it goes through and looks at uh, local users. And then you have a network component as well, which goes through and shows uh, UAC or the networks that a device is connecting to through a wireless, whether they have uh, required uh, complex passwords, et cetera. And then we have the site security report, which shows a breakdown from severe uh, to moderate to minor, the number of devices at risk and the impact on the score. From there, we have the detailed report, which is a granular breakdown showing an impact, re recommendation, and the devices at risk, all the host names of those devices. Then we have the summary, which is a historical or report which shows um, a breakdown of the test results and the counts. And then lastly, we have the trend, which shows the score, how it changes over a certain amount of time. Again, th this can be valuable for showing the value that you're bringing to a business. Often, as you, uh, as I'm sure you guys would agree, um, when you when you start moving a customer into a more proactive posture from a security from a managed service perspective they often don't appreciate all the extra work that happens behind the scenes they feel that their IT is running themselves 
and uh, they, they don't have a need for an MSP to support them um, until you provide reports like our week work completed summary, which show all of the information as far as the devices that are um, being patched, being, uh, you know, you've got scripts that are automatically running to keep things updated, you're, you're rebooting devices, you're repairing services and, and keeping things on and available to their business. So um, this is something where it's easy to underestimate the value of these reports. So these reports help demonstrate your value, discuss areas for improvement. Again, it's designed to help very easily um, highlight weaknesses in, in, a, in someone's current service provider offering, offering, but also uncover new sales and service opportunities. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of what the actual user interface looks like here. Um, as you can see, this is what the security site security dashboard looks like in managed workplace. This is the, just a demo environment. Um, I've got roughly you know, 30 or 40 devices under management here across six sites. Um, I enroll sites in here just by, by clicking the plus button and then from there I can add a site to the specific security assessment. From there we go through and we start assessing the individual categories here on the right. Now some of this will look very familiar to the screenshots that I showed you uh, previously, but uh, nonetheless, I wanted to show you what it looks like in real time. If I click on ABC Medical, this is a kind of a middle of the row. If I look at my scores, 74 on a patch, 88 on a user, I can click on the name here, and that gives me visibility into the dashboard for this custom. Now I can see historical trends, so if I wanted to change that, I can adjust that instead of being over this week, I could change it for the last month. The colors here are all customizable. Um, I can click on the site security score itself and that'll show me overall the health, uh, but I can click into the antivirus category as well and this is going to show me my moderate issues, minor issues and the issues that I've passed. Uh, looks like firewall is turned off on a few of these devices so I can go down and I can see three of six devices have the, uh, the firewall turned off on this, on, on, this, uh, um, on this site. So, you know, it gives me instant visibility on those devices. If I wanted to look at the lowest score, the deviant here out of the group, I can click on 74 for patch, and I can see there's some software updates missing. Uh, the, these ones are update roll-ups, and I can see the four to five devices that are missing roll-ups are listed here. Um, I can read my impact and countermeasures there. If I wanted to look at my patch collection, or maybe I've got some moderate issues for security issues that are least critical, um, or I can go back and drill into another category, for instance, if I wanted to look at my Wi-Fi here, I'm getting 84, which is a pretty strong score, um, but I do see an alert here for a strong network password check, so I can click on that. I can see they're showing one device that's at risk and the impact and countermeasure, so I can click on that device and see the specific network, or I can choose SSID test results, and this is going to allow me to expand, and I can see the device, whether or not it contains special characters, any numbers, any mixed or lowercase. So you do get a lot of visibility there on those devices. Again, it only shows the wireless networks that are saved in the WLAN profile uh, of the device for the last seven days. So you're not going to get inundated with old networks uh, and, and stale information there. The user security shows me uh, information on domain accounts, local accounts, whether or not there's password policies in place. Again, I can expand any one of these. Um, these are lockouts, threshold checks, so it shows me six of these devices are um, not going to lock out after a number of failed of password attempts, so obviously a very lax policy there. So this is just an example of the visibility that you get within the site security dashboard inside a managed workplace. Um, it's a very comprehensive tool, again, simple to deploy, minimal effort, um, but it allows you to really hit home with regards to the capabilities of protecting your clients' networks and looking for opportunities where another provider might have missed a, a sales opportunity or um, a hole in providing a, you know, complete security service to your customers. So why remote monitoring and management? This is a, you know, sometimes a question that people who are focused on the bottom line, um, they believe in break fix, they believe heavily. There's, there's several sides of this. Um, you know, from the MSP side, uh, we want to see our partners grow to proactive. We feel that a lot of our larger partners strive to uh, continue to automate, continue to, to optimize their, um, their processes to take on more clients and be more efficient and use more, uh, more cutting edge tools that are simpler to administer. Um, but working in a, a reactive manner um, doesn't provide your customers with the, the most current sort of capabilities from a security standpoint or a managed services standpoint. Um, you know, you're limited to the number of hours you can bill in a week when you're doing a, when you're rolling trucks constantly. So 
Um, we, we absolutely want to see you get to that proactive stage or further enhance if you're already there in a proactive managed services offering. Um, one of our the quotes that I'd like to share here from Brian. Brian is our GM and SVP here at Barracuda MSP. Um, much like how end users need to weave security best practices into their everyday behavior, MSPs need to bake security into the way they operate. So um, we, we keep this very close to our heart. We try to provide solutions that are comprehensive, that have a security uh, centric offering, and I hope you see that in the managed workplace product. Um, again, just a summary of the RMM here. Um, built-in site security assessments to identify vulnerabilities. You can monitor, manage websites, applications, the security posture from a single pane of glass. You get alerting um, on servers and workstations and a whole slew of network devices as well. We have task automation and patch management and built-in scripts and we use packages. So um, lots of capabilities there on the scripting and automation. We have integrated antivirus within this platform. We offer have, also have uh, um, cloud monitors, so you can monitor web services, web websites, um, remote tunnels, things like that. We have Office 365 account management through uh, a strong integration we have that we, we've got with their Graph API. Uh, we demonstrate uh, value with 150 white label facing report, reports, plus the ability to uh, use a tool like Microsoft's Power BI to get even more uh, feature rich reporting. So you can, you can tie into that tool uh, from a reporting standpoint. So a little bit of feedback I wanted to share with you. We, we speak with our partners constantly and regularly uh, about why managed workplace. If you're new to an RMM and you're, you've shopped around, you're looking, you're not sure, you haven't used one before, uh, partners love the simple deployment. They love the ability to manage, mo manage, monitor, and deploy all from a single site. Um, the automation and the remediation for scripting helps save them from having to worry about doing manual tune-ups on machines and maintenance, the patch management, and the straightforward licensing. So these, these type of things really make a difference to a small operation, a smaller MSP that wants to provide uh, you know, white glove service, but doesn't want to necessarily have to hire people or outsource everything uh, for that level of service delivery. And then if you're, if you're experienced with an RMM, you know, we deal with a lot of partners who have shopped every RMM on the market. They've, they've talked with the big guys. They've used them for years. Um, they've burnt through tons and tons of licenses over the ten, last 15 years trying every product. But they, they, you know, they continue to reiterate to us that they love this security assessment. You know, there are sure there are other tools out there on the network on the on the market that you know provide some similar capabilities, but none of them are integrated into an RMM uh, and from an RMM vendor and from a vendor like Barracuda who has such a strong foothold in the security, especially in the SMB space. The agentless and agent options that allows partners to have a dynamic approach when it comes to monitoring their customers' networks. The on-site or cloud boat base, so we do do an on-prem version of this product, or we host everything in AWS. We're a big public cloud advocate, so um, you know we love it, taking advantage of that technology and uh, leveraging the scale and the massive machine behind that engine to to help our partners have uh, you know just class-leading reliability and capabilities. The O data reporting, as I mentioned, the custom monitoring. We have an integrated remote support tool. And then the uh, integrated operations and security accelerator. So these are the component that allows you to um, have a security focus, but also bring in something like a third-party NOC for help desk services to help you scale up and grow without having to um, without having to hire full-time employees. Lastly, in that sort of segment, the architectural alignment, and the business alignment, and the current trends. So. Managed Workplace is offered as a cloud services with global instances already running on AWS. Um, it can be deployed on-premise, as I previously mentioned. It's API-driven, allows for plugins to be easily updated and new ones to be added. So uh, a lot of capability there on the architecture end. Again, this was designed as an agentless solution from the ground up and is a very mature player in the RMM space. There's a lot of uh, a new up-and-coming products, but they, they really show their um, immaturity when you get into the details of it. The business alignment, it extends Barracuda's op opportunity for security innovation and our ability to simplify security for MSPs um, by connecting the RMM with key components such as email protection, cloud generation, firewall, security awareness training, that fish line product I mentioned previously, the data protection, and the Avast business security solutions that are, that's known as the integrated antivirus within this product. And then alignment, lastly, with current trends. 
Uh, Manage Workplace aligns with the current IT trends by supporting Windows and Mac endpoints, VMware, Hyper-V, integrating with Office 365 account management, monitoring networks, switches, routers, firewalls, printers, and lastly, creating, delivering, uh, reoccurring security assessments. So, um, again, supporting some of those products, delivering reoccurring security assessments. This is a, a big part of the the managed workplace products, but ultimately the Barracuda multi-layer defense system. So um, this allows for the, the whole product stack to come together. So whether you're talking about email application network and data, but then the RMM really stitches it together, whether you're talking about centralized deployment or reporting or offering just a more comprehensive solution from a single vendor. Um, this is something that really brings everything together and f f finds uh, itself as the glue between the products. So we're very excited to have this product uh, to complement our already uh, expansive uh, suite of products here, whether you're talking about traditional backup and anti-spam or the next-gen Fishline Sentinel ESS uh, products, these very advanced products that leverage AI to detect threats. So we're, we're certainly very excited about this. Um, this is something you will see exemplified in all of our products. This is create, deliver, and demonstrate. So we try to position ourselves as a very partner-focused product, um, partner-focused fo partner company. So whether we're talking about um, delivering services or demonstrating value or creating offices, this is kind of our, our key principles that we apply and challenge our developers, but our product managers. So we want you to be able to use our products to create service offerings. Um, again, this is a business use, use, unit that's dedicated to the MSP space. Um, deliver them profitably. So be able to calculate your ROI on the tools. Look at the expenses, whether it's simplified licensing or flexible licensing, so you can understand how to deliver them at a profitable rate. This is, this is as important to us as it is to you. And then demonstrating value to the customers um, through reporting, through showing visibility, through um, comparative offering comparative analysis on the capabilities of our tools. These really come through to be able to create, create deliver, and demonstrate uh, to your customers. So thank you again for joining. I, I certainly appreciate you taking time out of your day. Um, absolutely be aware that you can start your free network security assessment um, through barracudamsp.com slash RMM. You can learn a little bit more about managed workplace and the RMM tool itself. Um, we offer evaluations or proof of concepts of this product. Feel free to send us an email at sales at barracudamsp.com or give us a ring on the phone number there at the call. Um, we'd be happy to work with you. We have a team of expert sales engineers that can work with you through your evaluation uh, and help you see the power of this tool. Great. Thank you, Ken. So it's Q&A time, so I'll get Matt to um, answer your question. We've got a couple already in the queue. If you have any more, just type it down to the chat panel now and stay tuned for a prize giveaway. We'll do it right after our Q&A. So Matt, are you ready? Yes, I am. Awesome. Great. Um, so I've got the first question from Andrew. Um, so he's asking, does your RMM tool integrate with any PSA tools? Yes, it does. Uh, integrates with TigerPool, ConnectWise, Manage, uh, Salesforce and Autotask. And as Ken, Ken mentioned, uh, we also have an OData connection so you can leverage uh, Power BI. And there are also APIs as well that you can leverage too. Yeah, thank you, Matt. And we've got a question from Chris. We just work with any other antivirus solutions. Yeah, so uh, we do. Uh, it would be a matter of scripting that antivirus install, and then that integrates with the endpoint. The endpoint uh, is able to then relay uh, the status of that antivirus. And we also, as Ken mentioned, um, have we've partnered with Avast uh, if you require an endpoint to be installed. Uh, yeah, and the next one. Question from Edwin. He's asking, how does the patching work within the platform? Yeah, within the platform, uh, patching is very easy. Uh, so you would create a group, uh, your patching group. Uh, you would uh, set up your auto approvals for your Windows products uh, that you've selected. So you can select uh, individual products, uh, for instance, Windows 10 and SQL um, for one type of patching, and then uh, schedule that group uh, within the patching window for your clients. So you would just schedule that uh, on the calendar and, uh, and all go ahead and, and patch those machines. Yep, great. Thank you, Matt. And we've got a pricing question from Paul. So he's just asking how, how is it priced? 
Uh, in terms of being on-prem or cloud-based, it's uh, per workstation and then per server pricing. Uh, Luke Smith will be able to give you some uh, firm pricing after this uh, if anyone wants to reach out in regards to that. Great. And I think we have one more. Um, so the question is, how do I organize a demo of the product to um, take a more in-depth look? Yeah, so uh, I'll be able to go ahead and demo the product. At the end of this webinar, we'll send over a scheduling link and then uh, you can schedule in a, in a time that suits best for you. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, demo that product. And if you've got any questions, we can answer those one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, awesome. And um, to wrap it up, thank you everyone for joining the webinar. And um, I've got our contact details on the screen. Um, Matt, can you still see my screen right now? Not yet. Uh, you'd oh, yeah, have that's all right. That um, yeah, I'll send you guys our local Australian contact details. As Matt mentioned before, if you have any more pricing questions, um, you can reach out to Luke. So he's our regional um, account director for ANZ region. So you can reach out to him. And I look forward to see you all in our next webinar and have a lovely day. Cheers. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Thank you.